Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we'll be reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2023. This will be a three-card general reading, so take the messages that resonate and the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to see what's going on personally in your life, and you can book a personal private reading on my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as check out my botanical on there, my spiritual products. You guys, I have candles on there, spiritual baths, protection oils, money oil, amongst other things. So check out my website, you guys. Um, and the other readings that I offer, because I offer various readings on there. Shout out to the people that's been booking readings. I, sh I greatly appreciate y'all. Um, but yeah, this is for my Aries. Let's get into it, okay? Please give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment below if it resonates with you. We're going to be using the Kipper deck today. And we'll be seeing what's going on pulling three cards, okay, y'all? All right. And this is where Angel sending guys and masses, gods and goddesses. Please give me messages for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2023. What messages do you have for my Aries? What energy surrounds them at this time? What messages do you, do you have for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2023? I ask for you to give me messages out of love, light, and clarity. What is the all my energy surrounding my Aries? What advice do you have for Aries spirit? Give me three cards. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2023. Sir. Everybody is getting this card. Message of concern. What is going on this month? Give me two more cards for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2023. Sir. Two more cards for Aries. What's the law energy tonight, my Aries? What advice do you have for Aries? One more card sir. for the month of September 2023. Actually, your message on love and clarity. Okay. See, it's like the cards didn't want to come out. <laughs> All right. Judication. For some of you guys, judication. You guys could be like separating from somebody. Maybe a partnership. Somebody you would maybe once married to. Had a, you know, soulmate connection with. Whatever the case may be. Um, we have judication here. Some of you guys could be getting married. I feel like it's two different dynamics. For some of my areas, you guys could be going to the courthouse Getting married at the courthouse. Okay, so congratulations if you are married or you're getting married at the courthouse. There's nothing wrong with having the courthouse wedding, honey. Some of you guys are definitely getting married. Others of you, you could be getting a divorce, okay? You could be having to face a judge over, like, assets, you know, property. Um, You could be, like I said, getting a divorce, separation. So um, this could be the judge trying to figure out, you know, Who's getting alimony, who, you know, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like courts, a lot of you guys will be in, you know, your energies, you're in the court system, okay? I do feel like a lot of you guys could be even going to court this month, dealing with the courts, planning something, you know, have some type of legal issues going on or whatever the case may be. All right. And, but right behind that, we had the lover's card. Some of you guys could be doing for Gemini, or you can have a twin flame that you're connected to, okay? And this could be surrounding your twin flame marriage for some of you guys. Okay, so the first card we have is message of concern. Everybody so far that I did a reading for had this card. So this is crazy. Like, I feel like a lot of people are waiting for a message, okay? We have change as the second card. We have concern as the third card. Message of concern, clarifying concern. All right. And we have false person, okay? So some of you guys might be a little concerned. If you are, like, maybe engaged right now, you might feel like it's a huge change. You could be thinking about this huge change that's coming towards you. You might be a little concerned. Maybe in the past, this person could have did some shit behind your back or, you know, with a false person. Maybe you might fear that this person is not, you know, who they say they are or they wear false self masks. Okay, we have concern here which is the number 33 which reduces to six so this is like balancing out the mind body and spirit some of you guys need to stay balanced this month all right stay grounded this month you could be up in your head a lot you know aries about this concern even if you're separating this person or if you're about to make this big take this big leap of faith and you know tie the knot and you know make it final if you are getting married some of you guys are you're kind of concerned because i feel like in the past maybe past energy this person could have did some shit like hurt you or you could have went through some things with them others of you you could be waiting for a message of concern that's going to ultimately maybe change your life in some way all right and i feel like it could be marriage okay or it could be you guys getting a divorce you could be waiting to hear back from the courthouse or the court system um you could be concerned about something okay surrounding this false person but we're gonna get into it and see what's going on all right and clarify each cause for aries Again, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. Okay, I greatly appreciate it. 
All right, Universe of Spirit, clarify message of concern. Why is message of concern here? For my Aries for the month of September 2023, why is message of concern number 14 here? For my Aries, and I feel like some type of change is coming. Clarify message of concern for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of, we have the Six of Swords. So some of you guys, you're waiting for some type of message to come in. Could be something surrounding, like I said, law. A, a false person, someone that you could be involved with. We have the lovers right there. Um, maybe a family member for some of you. Um, but we have the five of swords, right? And right under the message of concern, we have number 14, which is five as well. Reduces to five. So you guys are definitely going through some major changes right now. All right, and right, the second card is change. So you guys are definitely going through some major changes right now. It could be some type of mental conflicts that you're going through right now. Um, some type of concerning message that you possibly could have just received that could have caused some type of betrayal or, you know, anxiety or something like that. A fight or argument or whatever the case may be. Clarify message of concern. Why is message of concern here for my Aries for the month of September 2023? Why is message of concern here for my Aries? Ooh. The lover's card, wow, double clarification, because right behind judification, we had lover's card again. So, two lover's cards on the deck from two separate decks. This is very important. This is somebody that you're maybe even trying to maybe possibly marry, um, tying the knot with, somebody that you have a soul contract with, a spiritual connection with, deep, deep spiritual contract with or connection with a person that you love you could be in a relationship with this person married to this person could be some type of messages coming in surrounding this lover okay maybe some of you guys might find out about something about a lover you have some type of concern surrounding your lover um sometimes the lover card represents you and i which also can represent a choice between two all right so let's go ahead and see what's going on clarify messages of concern for my aries for the month of september 2023 spirit Oh, not they love life, but <laughs> clarify message of concern. Why is message of concern here for my Aries for the month of September 2023? Ooh. All right, some type of healing, okay? Healing, okay? Um, Healing. Some of you guys have, could be dealing with Aquarius. We have the star card here. So this is like you guys are, you know, trying to be optimistic, trying to be hopeful about this level situation. You could be a little concerned up in your head. Could be some type of fights, betrayal, maybe in the past or... Could have been recently, but I feel like some type of changes are like you're thinking about change. It's very important. Clarify message of concern for Aries for the month of September 2023. Spirit, clarify message of concern. Clarify message of concern. Why is message of concern here for Aries for the month of Okay, came out again. All right, so we have. The three of wands, the four of wands, the ace of swords, and the three of cups. Some of you guys might be a little concerned about marrying this person, tying the knot, sharing the foundation with this person. You may have a home that you share with this person. But the three of wands is like you had to leave something behind and take action towards something new. Or the person like that you're dealing with, maybe they had to leave some shit behind or leave some false. Like if this person was wearing a false self mask, they had to leave their old ways behind. Or for you guys to be, become committed or in a partnership with this person. The ace of swords, some type of truth could have came out about a third party situation. And for others of you, this could be a celebration, okay? Um, this could be some news, good news about a like celebration or clarity that you want to move forward and celebrate. This could be engagement parties or whatever whatever the case may be because we do see a four of wands as well so this could be a marriage as well but i do feel like you guys could be a little concerned it could be a little bit of arguments surrounding this why is the three of cups here for aries for the month of september 2023 a lot of cards Whew. nine of swords knight of swords queen of swords seven of cups six of swords nine of pentacles nine of wands the emperor and the seven of wands some of you guys could be dealing with another aries such as yourself older male female it could be a male um, for some of my Aries women, you could be doing somebody that's very much in and out. Maybe you guys, the way you guys communicate with each other is very immature or hasty, very flighty. Someone is definitely wanting to rush in to communicate their concern rather than this is you or the person you're dealing with. I feel like maybe this could be you, Aries. You could be rushing into to voice your opinion or voice your concern about a matter. Maybe you could have found out with the Queen of Swords. You could be speaking your truth, getting clarity about maybe a situation. The Seven of Swords, I mean, Seven of Cups is like... This is like emotional confusion. Maybe you're feeling emotionally confused or you're wanting the person you're dealing with to take rose colored glasses off because maybe their cause there could be a little aloofness to them. They can be, you know, in a in their head a lot, you know, wearing false color I mean wearing rose colored glasses, sorry you guys. And also, um they can also possibly can have even options, you know, and maybe you guys could be speaking your truth like, hey, 
I'm hip. Like, I know what the fuck you've been up to. Like, we supposed to be getting married. Because some of you guys, you could be trying to get engaged to this person. And you're finding out they got options. So, they've been pouring their emotions and pouring their attention to other things. All right? And I feel like the Six of Swords, some of you guys could be speaking the truth. Like, hey, if you don't get this shit together or if we don't figure this out, I'm ready to go. Like, some of you guys are wanting to move away from the situation with the Six of Wands. Move towards calmer waters. Move away from negative energy. Maybe you want this person to put this shit away or move away from this, how they move, you know, the, the energy that they have. But with the Nine of Wands, like someone is feeling like the wounded warrior this could be you aries feeling like the wounded warrior feeling a little defensive but still having that one more fight you know you're still trying to fight for this connection or for this commitment okay the emperor you know this is a leader this is a boss a ceo a person that knows like that's wise okay been through some shit somebody that's an educator a leader so i feel like you could be doing somebody that likes to control or could also be controlling Somebody that likes to control the situation, or maybe you're trying to gain control of the situation. With the Seven of Wands, this could be a lot of defensiveness, fighting, you know, um, disagreements, people, even people' opinions, competition. And I feel like maybe you're, you're you're not wanting to be in that shit. Like you're wanting to change in this dynamic. Clarify change. Why well, change here for Aries for the month of September spirit? Clarify change. What do they need to change? What is coming towards them that's going to be changing? Why change here? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could have been some new money that came in for you. Some of you guys could have just recently bought a new home. Congratulations if you did. This could be an engagement for some of you guys. This could be an engagement after some bullshit, okay? And you could still be a little concerned even somebody, even though somebody's offering you a lifetime, you know, engagement, proposal. All right, this could be a new job, uh, you know, a bonus, uh, a high ticket item purchase, a home. Like, Spirit is definitely trying to bring you in something abundant, some type of change, all right? Something new is coming in. Clarify the change card for Aries. We have the four swords and the eight of wands. So some type of fast communication or fast action is going to come in towards this change. Changes is going to come in fast. Some of you guys might start making new money or might change your job. For others of you, it um, might be a change in career, I mean, or changing a home. Um, you could be changing up your home, but I do feel like this is like a big offer spirit is trying to bring in. But with the four swords, some of you guys are needing to like rest, rejuvenate. You could be contemplating, reflecting on this change, what action you should take, how you should move forward. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aries for the month of September 2023. Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Clarifying change. The King of Cups. So some of you guys, this could be some type of, ooh, like maybe a father, your child's father. Okay, or a person you're married to, a person you're in a relationship with. It could be a child's father as well. They see that you're making changes. Some of you guys might got a baby father that's like coming at you sideways trying to communicate because they see that you're changing that you're getting this money that you're abundant that you're well off or it could be a hater somebody that you you know somebody that you was even emotionally involved with or tied to they, or they can have children it could be an ex for some of you guys somebody that you took a break from and now they want to come in after they see you moving forward and changing they see changes why who is this king of cups here can i find this king of cups from my aries for the month of september why is this king of cups here the hangman pisces energy some of you guys are gonna be a pisces all right, this person see you change and they trying to see, they want you to see things from a different perspective or they want you to see them maybe in a different light. Maybe the way that you guys communicated or how things, how you once had a connection, maybe that changed, the relationship changed, the partnership changed or whatever, the love changed. I feel like some of you guys are trying to be patient with this person, see things from a different perspective, but you also see that this person is kind of like changing and they got you in limbo, a stalemate situation, all right? Oof. Yeah, the four of cups. So this person could be wanting to make you an offer because they see you bossed up now. It could be trying to ruin some type of marriage. I do see marriage adjudication here. So some of you guys could have a part partner in the past or a child's father or mother that's trying to like disturb whatever changes that you're trying to make. And they're a false person. I'm seeing that. A false person from the past or somebody that you're tied to. All right. I feel like somebody's definitely trying to ruin what you got or whatever. We're trying to like take fast actions to try to offer you something. And creating a third party situation or something where they are creating it like some type of fucked up energy with what you got right now. All right, with the four of cups, it's like someone trying to make you an offer, but you're not accepting it. Aries, you don't want this shit. Whoever this person is, it's like they're trying to cause a disturbance. You could be bored and discontent with this person anyway. Clarify concern. Why is concern here for Aries for the month of September? What should they be concerned about? Why is concern here for Aries? Oof. Ooh, the devil. I told y'all somebody that's a soul tied to you. Child father, child mother. Somebody that can't let you go. Somebody that's obsessed with you. Somebody that's fucking toxic and low vibrational. That's stuck to material shit. That's all they think about. That's all they know. Could be addicted to gambling. Could be abusive, alcoholic. You know, 
a drinker, overworker, whatever the case may be, you know, whatever addictions, you know what addictions they got, it could be addicted to drugs, whatever, but we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody wanting to come in and slowly make you an offer, um, but it's not a king, it's a knight, so this offer that they make it, it's just kind of, it ain't shit, it ain't much, and it's a slow offer, it's the slowest moving horse in the deck, so, this person trying to come in and maybe even offer you sex, or trying to get close to you to make you a sexual advancement, or... Or whatever the case may be. But I feel like this person is just obsessed with you, Aries. They could be concerned about you making getting an offer from somebody else. Because they 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 so obsessed with you and tied to you. Yeah, the sun card. They see that you happy elsewhere, Aries. They see that you are moving forward with your life. You are happy. You know, you feel abundant, you feel free, you know, you feel young, vivacious. And I just feel like, you know, you're just really positive right now. And I just feel like Someone is coming to try to fuck it up. But the devil and the sun, somebody is definitely trying to fuck up your happiness. Whatever you got that's going on that's good for you right now, get yourself away from toxic ass energies, Aries. I promise you, you'll feel a lot better at the end of it. But you got some heavy ass devil energy or haters in your circle. Could be family members or people from the past, baby mothers, baby fathers, whoever these people are, are. They're definitely a false person. They're not happy for you. They're trying to fuck up your happiness, okay? With these little ass offers, acting like they're so concerned, but they're not concerned about you. It really ain't. All right, clarify the double card. Why's the double card here for my Aries for the month of September 2023? Ooh, you got the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, somebody trying to fuck up your goodness. They trying to. This devil is trying to come in to fuck up your relationship with the Two of Cups here. You could be in a soulmate connection with, like I said, Gemini energy. Um, we had the Lovers card, so you could be going towards a new beginning, a marriage, you could be engaged, going to the courthouse to get married, and someone is definitely from the past is trying to come in and fuck up your happiness, but the spirit is saying that you are protected, Aries, what's, made, what's, for, what's meant for you is meant for you, Aries, so nobody can fuck that up, with the will of fortune, you've got a lot of abundance coming towards you, a lot of great things, new home, new job, new career, new car, whatever you want, it is yours, new travel, it's going to take time, be patient with this journey, but don't allow nobody with this devil energy that's trying to come in with some fucking lustful energy, all right, as the devil and fuck up this partnership that you got and this love that you got if whatever you building right now with somebody a partnership that you in right now this could even be work related don't let them fuck that up because i feel like somebody's definitely trying to come in to do that and it's definitely this false person somebody definitely from your past clarify the false person called for my aries for the month of ooh, see it came out yep could be somebody that you work with as well, Aries, so stay clear. Eight of Pentacles, this is work, working hard. So somebody from work, this could be somebody that you work with, you know, somebody that you invested a lot of money into, you know what I'm saying? They could be trying to fuck up your money. The Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Temperance, stay, stay patient, stay grounded, stay balanced, okay? Um, try to stay balanced through all this shit, you know, I know you feel like you're going through a lot right now, but with the two of swords, it's like, spirits want you to make a decision to move forward from this heartbreak, this pain, once you find out that this false person did some shit like this, or the truth comes out, because we had the sun, so something is definitely going to get illuminated to you about what the fuck this devil-ass person was doing behind your back, you know what I'm saying, trying to cause some type of heartbreak, sorrow, pain, chaos, or whatever, Ooh, right behind that, we have the moon card. So, some type of secret will be revealed. Cancer energy. Pisces, Scorpio. But, yeah, Pisces could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Somebody trying to do some secret shit behind your back. Try to betray you or do some backstabbing shit with the Nine of Swords. Has you in your head about it because you're starting something new and passionate. And you're moving forward and healing from whatever situations that you was going through before. Whatever traumas, you know, whatever tribulations you was going through. Hardships. It's like you're healing now. You're staying optimistic. Spirits want you to heal, you know. Um, be patient with yourself with the star card. This is being hopeful. This is you wishing upon a star. Your ancestors got your back, making things balanced with the six of pentacles. But somebody's definitely a hater and wants you to feel stuck and confused, okay? They want you to feel confused about maybe two different people. Oh, do you love me? Oh, like, don't. You know, whoever this is, they see that you're going towards greatness and they see a new partnership, an abundant partnership hitting your way and abundance that's coming towards you. And they're coming in as a false person, but all they're going to do is cause some fucking heartbreak and cause confusion with the two of swords, okay? Acting like they want to work on the situation when they don't. They're a false person. Yes, could be a Leo for some of you guys, but the spirit just want you to find the strength to overcome these obstacles. Okay, Aries? Find the strength to overcome and tame this fucking beast. All right? Tame yourself from any addiction. Tame yourself from any lustful gestures. Anybody from the past that's trying to come in and fuck up what's good. Yeah, because with the Ace of Cups, spirit has something beautiful and new come towards you. This is a new beginning. This could be a marriage, a proposal, celebration, self-love, you know, whatever. Like, new love overflowing of love coming in yeah spirits want you to move forward with your life and gain control and take control over this bullshit whatever this is it's time to cut it out 
the Empress card. Some of you guys, it could be a mother as well. Ooh, so, some of you guys might lose a mother. I'm sorry to hear that, but some of you guys might just have some type of issue with losing a mom or could be like going through, your mother could be going through some type of transformal like stuff. Like some of you guys might have a mother that's sick or possibly just lost a mother. So if you did, condolences to you. But I feel like um, it's going to bring in something abundant and beautiful, okay? You know, with a death comes a rebirth. And some of you guys, if this is not a death, and your family, you could just be going through a rebirth. But we have the Empress card here. So, you guys are abundant. Whatever you touch turns into gold. You know, you guys are trying to cut out the negative shit in your life. And you're trying to, go, you're going through a spiritual transformation, okay? You're cutting out what's not serving you. All right, so that's what I have for my area. Sorry about hearing the background noise, your girl. Do live in the city. <laughs> But yeah, let's go ahead and pull a advice card and see what spirit has for my Aries. What advice do you have for my Aries spirit for the month of September 2023? Ooh, okay. It's, um, Aries, go ahead and like that. Uh, Hit the like button. You guys leave a comment below so your girl can get that on the algorithm. You know how YouTube be tripping, but... Yeah, go ahead and show your girl some love, y'all. So the, the advice, okay, for this whole reading, Aries, is fuck what they think, okay? Fuck what they think, Aries. It says, put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra today, all day, and tomorrow. Two, while you're at it. Fuck what they think. Fuck what they think. Fuck what they think. All together now, fuck what they think. Let freedom ring. Fuck what they think for the win. <laughs> so spirits want you to say, fuck what they think. Any haters, any people from the past that's trying to come in and judge you or trying to fuck up your situation or trying to, like, gossip or whatever this is trying to cause some mental havoc like spirit is saying fuck what they think and move forward you have a lot of abundance coming towards you aries and you deserve it okay because you work hard for this shit all right some of you guys could just be finishing school as well with the um will of fortune learning a new trade a new business just finishing school graduating if this is you congratulations don't let nobody fuck up your blessing or your blessing okay so leave a comment below you guys that's what i have for my aries love y'all and i will see y'all next time peace